de-escalate. No. De-escalate. De-escalate. Spell it. Touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I want his name and badge number. No, this is unconstitutional. I was pulled over because I didn't want to. No, I was parked because I didn't want to do distracted driving. And, and even if it's posted, it's, it's that, okay, that so doesn't mean it's legal. So we're going to ask you to leave. What? Okay. Well, we're going to ask you to leave twice. Okay. I'm going to ask you to leave one last time. What's your name? Jim Curry. Okay. Yeah, let's take him out. What's your let's position? Cuss on. Well, that settles it. Everybody grab a broom. It's shenanigans. Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Before we get started, a quick update. I am currently in the process of fighting Casey Camera Girl's copyright strike, so I'm waiting to hear back from YouTube about that one. While I was fighting that one, freaking media hit me with another one on three of the videos. I guess he doesn't like being made fun of. I mean, he should be used to it. He's probably been made fun of his whole life, but whatever. We know they're thin-skinned, but that's not going to deter us. Oh, no. We're going to keep keep on going. Well, today, we are with Amazing Audits Cop Watch Rights Flex Plus More, whatever that is. I want to know what the plus more is. So we're in Jefferson County, Colorado. What up, 303? And these two geniuses decide to audit the Jeffco Public School Building, specifically the Columbine High School Building, on the anniversary of the Columbine shooting. If you don't know what those are, take a Google. It was a very big deal in the country. A lot of kids lost their lives that day. The two shooters were eventually, they eventually killed themselves. It was a big deal. It's the reason why school security got completely revamped in the late 90s all around the country. And these two morons decide, yeah, it, I think this is a good idea. Let's go audit on the anniversary. First of all, they're trespassing, and we're going to see that play out in a second. So let's take a look. So I'm live. Hi, guys. I'm out here trying to conduct a uh, stringer. I'm working for press. All right, I'm going to have to go ahead and stop you right there. What does that mean? I'm working for press. Like, there's only one press in the country? It doesn't make any sense. It'd be like, it's like asking Kevin Malone, what do you do here at Dunder Mifflin? I do the numbers. Like, I, you don't understand what you're doing. I'm at Columbine High School here trying to get B-roll for the 25th anniversary of the Columbine shooting. And over here, we have a Jeffco Schools patrol, like security guard guy who didn't even let me get out of the vehicle, came running over to the vehicle, sticking his hand up on the window, telling us that we must leave. We must leave now. I wasn't even recording or nothing, okay? All right, two things. Why the hell are you at Columbine High School getting footage? Are you that dense? And two, you just said you were filming. You were getting footage, and then you claim the officer came up to your car ranting and raving, as you described, like a, a lunatic. Where's the footage? Why weren't you shooting? You just said you were shooting. So shouldn't we have footage of that? Unless you're a big fat liar. And I want you guys to know that I was not recording. We did not get out of the vehicle. This man has blocked the way out. He demanded we leave. He put his hand on our vehicle. He blocked me from recording. And now where is he? Let me guess, he's behind the vehicle, right? Yeah, he's behind the he's vehicle. He's being the creepiest fucking guy he could possibly fucking license. be. So one, watch your mouth, little lady. And two, he's not blocking you. He's in a parking spot. What are you talking about? Are you driving like a semi truck where you can't turn? I don't understand. So what I need is the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department to come help me. I am here to work and this man is stopping my livelihood. There's no school today. Footage. There's nobody here. So I'm at the Columbine High School and I need Jefferson County Police Department, Sheriff's Department help right now, guys. Please call. Please call. And let's get some help. You on drugs? These two guys are just talking over each other. I don't know how their viewers are even hearing them. Something tells me they don't need the sheriff. No, they need a 72-hour psych hold. Right yeah, this guy is a complete and utter psychopath, a psychopath of the utmost the, proportion. The, the... <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> He's impede our, our... Okay. Our... We can't... He move. came right up to the vehicle. You see how he's parked over there? He came right to the vehicle. He told us we needed to leave. 
He didn't ask any questions at all. Never and ask questions. He's being a total jerk off. Yep. Before I could get out of the vehicle and speak to him, or in, extremely aggressive. Over. The way they're describing this guy, it's almost like I expect them to be foaming at the mouth. I'm sure he's been nothing but courteous, asking them, why are you here? You have no business here. Please leave. I'm sure that's all he said to these lunatics. But obviously, they're going to blow it out of proportion because they're on their live stream. And they probably need their followers to send them gas money. Way over, so that's why I went live. So, guys, do we have wom wom woms or what? by five guys how are we doing hey mike stevens fabulous having you aboard northwoods press hey 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 you guys go ahead and call the law enforcement man we well, need the yeah we do need yeah, the law i need the help right now i'm here Jefferson to conduct work County. and i'm not being allowed oh, out of my vehicle by this oppressive guy with i think he has a gun does he have a gun it I believe he appear. has a gun. He does appear. Okay, and this man should not have a gun. He was over a Okay, he, he should not, not have a gun. Ask. You're such a loser. What did you just call him? A loser. What? That's funny. I was thinking you guys shouldn't be allowed to drive a vehicle, but I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Questions. He came right he over to harm someone. For a okay. Stringer gig. Uh, we don't need to leave. We don't need to leave. So, this um, is Colin Bain High School. I'm here getting B-roll for a 25-year anniversary yeah, thing. Uh, I am getting paid to do. Yes, this is he is getting payment. So you guys. So let me get this straight. As long as I'm being paid, I can go anywhere and film anything I want. This is incredible. This changes everything. Is uh, please somebody call Jefferson County Sheriff. That's right, because I'm going to conduct my work here today. Brew. Delusion. Oh, there, we do have a one-time come Good. In. This is good. Mm -hmm. Good. Let him come on over. Maybe it's the guy we spoke with earlier. We're building a rapport with some of these uh, sheriffs around here. Well, we're trying to. Some of them. You guys, give them a call. Let them know that we're good people. We're here to conduct press We're activities press. and uh before this guy didn't ask questions i'm gonna do the talking here. though okay oh, and he comes over that's absolutely. all right absolutely i shouldn't have to explain myself well it is your gig yeah, anyway so i shouldn't even have to explain myself this man is being oppressive mm -hmm. You guys can see him in the rearview mirror there. He's talking to He's talking Jefferson to the County. Jefferson County guy. Does he have a gun? He has a big fat uh, apron hanging off the front of him. He's got this gun. He's extremely aggressive. You can literally see the officer walking very slowly towards their vehicle. He, how is he being aggressive? This is an example, children, of never drink the bong water it's very very bad hi come on around would you yeah i need your help i'm gonna get out okay okay i'm here conducting press activities i've had butt sex with that monkey and that monkey had a mutant retard baby that screwed another monkey, and that made you. You may understand that the uh, 25th anniversary of the Columbine event yeah. is coming up next month, and so we're here collecting B-roll. Here's what I would recommend. Um, they've, they've actually granted special protection to this because of all the bomb threats and everything they still receive to this day. In fact, I'll show you the sign that you guys drove past. Uh -huh. Let me know if you can read that with the sun glare. Yeah, this is public school property and i'm in a public space on public well, property here's what i would recommend you're more than more than look i'm gonna get some video and then i'm gonna leave that's like what i'm here to do he long. had he had no right well, to they uh, have, they have he had right. no right to come over here he, he didn't even ask me one question you, wouldn't let me talk to you. you, you didn't even attempt to ask any questions
So as the frauditor is emptying his purse to the police officer, the security guard mentions that he wouldn't even let me explain why you couldn't be here. And I tend to believe the security guard because this guy is a lunatic. He's screaming, yelling. He won't let anyone get a word in edgewise. So I'm going to go ahead and believe the security officer. You need to leave. I I'm going to grab her some B-roll and then I'm going to leave. I have every right to do that. No, no sir. Wife, you're you're going to be charged with, with third degree trespassing if you don't. I can't decide between a fat joke and a dumb joke. Boom, roasted. Here's what I would recommend. I would recommend just going out to the sidewalk because that's public property. You can do whatever you want out there for, for video. Okay, I'm going to go out to the sidewalk then. Okay. And um, what's the law then? What did you say? I'm breaking? Well, like third, said, third degree trespassing? Third degree trespassing in Colorado. That's when you go past a sign. This is no trespassing. That's the sign that I showed you in the picture. It said that this it's, is public space. Well, no. It's if you. I can show you. The sign I just showed you is right over there that you drove past to get in here. So I can't act. I'm press. I'm press. I'm not. I'm a stupid moron with an ugly face and a big butt, and my butt smells, and I like to kiss my own butt. <laughs> Some f street. I'm here to work. I have a legitimate press activity happening here. That rule is for people that are not conducting First Amendment protected activities, officer. That's right. Stupid dumbass. That's right. And so what you think and what you think is 100% wrong. Okay. All right. Yeah, you won't you I won't be able to car. get away with that in you court. Like, actually, sir, your card, your please. Okay. Both of you guys. I need your ID too. I need your. Would you, you, you like me to? No, show I, I won't be around? giving you the ID. I, I just want your card. Okay. That's what I'm asking you for. You. you don't need ID I for that. Picture, need to trespass him over to that side. Officer, I need. I need trespass This guy needs to not work for the public at all. This is Officer Carey, Wesley Carey of Jeffco Public I, Schools, I did not speak to me, came right over do have a legitimate job. and told I, us I, that I, we could not conduct press activities here. I totally understand. It's just the thing that's unique with this place is because of all the bombs. It's not it's unique. The years. First Amendment press rights are not fallen beneath years. some unique activity or some together. unique circumstance. We okay. need B-roll. Did you fight okay. in the military? No, I did not. Okay, well then you probably don't understand. All, Please all uh, back up now. We're going to leave. Okay, thank you. Thank you for coming, and I think you did a good job, if that means anything to you. Thank you. Have a better day. You too. Well, you have a better day. He needs to move his truck so I can move. Let's look at this sign, guys. I don't understand. It he says that this is visitor parking. So, I can move. so this you. is visitor parking, guys. Hey, Frauditor. Just because you're complaining to your dullard audience and you're in a visitor's parking spot does not change the fact that you are now trespassing. Time to move on down the road. Visitor parking. Instead of impeding my way. He didn't ask one question. Didn't ask a damn question, dumbass. They are some dumbasses. That was Wesley Carey, patrol officer. Dumb, dumb. Wes Carey, here's his email. Wes Carey at Jeffco dot K12 dot CO dot US. That's Wes Carey, patrol officer. The sign we drove past. Okay, so this is open. It says no trespassing due to this is a public school property upon which by any unauthorized person is strictly prohibited. Violators may be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. So. The truth shall set you free. I'm gonna go out to the sidewalk and you can go somewhere else, all right? Okay. I don't know where else for you to park, except maybe at the park, but. There goes another, another uh, Jeffco Schools guy pulling yeah. in. Yeah. yeah, these guys are hot-headed. They should not have firearms. Wes Carey should not be working in the public at all. Well, why don't you cry about it? Oh. And, um... Please let me out. I'm gonna hop out. Okay. I'm gonna hop out now. Okay. So if you thought that was it, obviously, 
you, you don't know who you're the dealing with here. These are professional press. And press. they decide to stand on the side of the road for another 15 YouTube. minutes crying and complaining about not being evil. able to go onto the public Thank school grounds. Tuning in. Now, obviously, sure this will turn a into public a big school, you can be trespassed. You are not allowed to just wander around any school. Especially if you're driving in a creepy van, almost on the anniversary of the Columbine shooting, people are going to ask questions, and you shouldn't be shocked when they tell you to please leave. Now, I was actually teaching when something like this happened. There was a gentleman on school property. He had a poster, he had pamphlets about actually the First Amendment, and the school went on lockdown. The administration immediately locked the school down. The kids couldn't leave the building. The buses were all late, and the police were called, and eventually this guy was told, you're on public school grounds, you have to leave. And they forced him off the property, thank goodness. Because that puts the kids at risk. I don't know if there's any kids there. He, they don't know if there's any kids there. Yeah, it's the weekend, but there, there's school activities going on Saturday and Sunday. Okay, if you have kids in school, you know this. There's always stuff going on at the school. There could be practices. There could be anything. So these maniacs were obviously upset, but they had no business being there. It's, it's incredible how stupid some of these people. Well, that's it for this one. Keep checking in. I'll keep you guys updated on my strikes, and hopefully YouTube takes me out of algorithm jail soon. Thanks for stopping by. Catch you later. Where to God, I'll pistol whip the next guy that says shenanigans.